The MCW is the number one AR in Modern Warfare 3, but a lot of people say it sucks, but that's because you suck. All you have to do is hit one headshot and that will drastically drop the TTK, making it a very competitive AR. Recently, the MCW has been getting a lot of nerfs. What they've been doing is slowing down the overall mobility. Since this thing already has a pretty good TTK, it already has no recoil, they didn't really want it to be like an SMG, which before it did feel like that. And so this build is going to kind of counteract those cons, allowing you to play aggressive. You're going to be able to be off the radar and you're still gonna have that very good time to kill since for the barrel we are gonna be adding the mammoth barrel so i will explain why i don't really use this one in my rank play one but the mammoth barrel is a very good barrel because this one's gonna be increasing the overall damage range by a little bit more than the uh the cyclone does and the cyclone is usually the go-to one that one's gonna increase the effective damage range to 30.7 meters when you do add the mammoth it's gonna bring up to 30.9 not a big difference but you know it is a little bit more one thing i do like is that it's gonna increase the mobility a lot in this gun the mobility really isn't that good anymore more so the handling but overall the weapon does feel a lot heavier now and this is going to make it feel a lot lighter one reason i don't run this in like competitive is because of the lack of bullet velocity when you add the cyclone you get 18 percent bullet velocity with the mammoth you only get eight percent that is pretty noticeable if you are in a very competitive match but in public matches it doesn't really matter too much it's just like when i'm playing it's like top 250s and iridescence i kind of need to maximize my bullet velocity and i don't really need that much mobility and so again cyclone will feel a little bit more responsive but the mammoth is a very good barrel to use by the way are you hard stuck in rank play and want to boost then i would check out my long-term sponsor guapsi they will play in your account to legitimately boost up your rank and they can also unlock anything you wish on the game you can scour the internet and you won't find a single negative review i'll have their link in the description so now our gun is a lot better at range and we have a pretty good amount of mobility and so we're going to be going on some crazy streaks and to make those streaks a little bit easier to hold we are going to be adding the shadow strike suppressor one reason i do like this is that there is absolutely no cons we don't really get any pros besides being off the radar but that is a pretty big con although the sonic is a pretty good option you are going to be losing a little bit of your recoil but you do get more damage range and it's bringing up the ball velocity a lot and so i was going to run this in the gameplay i just accidentally ran the shadow strike overall for me i like the sonic more it might be a little bit too bouncy so then you might want to add the shadow strike overall if you can just not control the weapon for some reason even after practicing against bots and things then i would try out the l4 flash hider you could also try the bulleted break there's not going to be that much damage range but this one eliminates a lot of the recoil and the way you could use what i run in rank play is going to be the compensator flash hider this is actually banned in the competitive league in those pro matches because it's so good compensator a very good one we're just losing a little bit of velocity so i usually only run that if i'm running the cyclone barrel if that makes sense and so overall i'm going to be liking the sonic and just keep in mind there might be a little bit of recoil so you might want to switch it next up we are going to be increasing the mobility even more so usually i would add the dr6 hand stop just so i can get more mobility handle i can move around the map quicker i can strafe quicker making it easier to activate the rotation aims and the handling is going to get a buff which the handling was brought down in that previous update and so now it we're basically bringing up those cons to where it was but if you add the xrk edge bw4 hand stop you guys can see yes we do get a little bit less handling so the sprint to fire speed and ads speed is a little bit slower but our ads speed like our uh, our our strafe speed is very very fast you guys are going to be able to strafe very quick with this thing making yourself a very hard target to hit i know some of you miss shots when you're doing this but you just got to go in firing range and just really practice and learn how to hit your shots as you're strafing and ads speed is still very good and you guys can see we can strafe so quick so the rotational aim assist if you're on controller it's so easy to activate with that if you're on keyboard mouse this is still a great one you can strafe so quick and we all know strafing is very good in this game so now our gun we have a very good mobility strafe speed we can uh we have good damage range we're off the radar but i uh, i guess the last attachment is going to be the optic but um before that so for the stock we are going to be adding the war forge you could also add the precision heavy or you can go over to the rear grip and add the rb claw you kind of got to try out the one that you like the most for me i was really liking the war forge besides losing sprint fire speed this is a little bit of a slower build but also a aggressive build you just got to be a little bit smarter you don't really want to use this thing like a, a smg if we look at those stats a lot of people don't really like the war forge because we only get gun kick control and firing aim, aiming stability and when we look at the stats we get a lot of recoil gun kick but we're just really not getting that much it looks like but we're actually getting so much when you add this that firing aiming stability plus that gun kick control really makes the weapon super easy to use you can use it up to any range and that's why i like having the sonic on here despite having it be a little bit bouncy it's still very easy to control this thing is an absolute beam with so much strafe speed so specializes in strafing at long range that's where you're going to be pissing off the enemies 
and you still can rush but you know what i mean so next one we are going to be going over to the optic you could you could add a 45 round mag 45 round mag is great on this thing if you don't really want to worry about reloading if you want more recoil control you can add the claw grip you can add the high grain rounds if you want to increase the overall damage range but i would not add the sonic suppressor if you have the high grain rounds yes you have so much more damage range you have a crazy bow velocity if you have the sonic and the high grain but there will be a little bit of recoil on the weapon so you might even have to swap out the underbow if you want to keep these sonic i would just add the shadow strike or you can add that compensated flash hider if you do add the high grain rounds high grain rounds are phenomal on this gun i'll let you guys take a screenshot if you guys want but the build i'm going to be rocking well i had the jacket glassless optic we all know this one's great you got to do a weekly challenge to get it it's going to give you fire name and stability and it's just going to be a very clean like sideboard looking site we are losing a little bit of our ads speed but it's only two percent and losing a little bit of ads speed for this much recoil control is definitely worth it so yeah i know you guys will absolutely love this build you can strafe so fast with it and that's like one of the reasons i got the two mgbs and then if you guys want a piece of shit weapon here's the wsp stinger i don't recommend this weapon at all unless you're trying to have some fun we got the infantry vest so we can tax sprint a little bit longer trophy system so we don't have to worry about nades marksman gloves so i can uh, have less flinch this is definitely the best gloves in the game cover singer so the enemies don't hear me rushing behind them eud so we don't have to worry about nades if we don't got that trophy now let's get into it bro this thing's got no recoil absolutely no recoil can i show it off where are the enemies are you guys still capturing c it was captured yesterday but you guys make it sure it's captured where are you guys at so this is my secondary wsp uh something piece of shit. oh okay we gotta kill with it we gotta kill i don't like it at all that thing there's a lot of nukes i've died off because of that thing so don't don't use it but if you want to you know challenge yourself use it or if you're a little bit bored on the game well, these guys gotta start moving. You gotta start moving. If you don't start moving fast, I'm gonna I'm gonna nuke you very badly. I'll probably nuke you very badly either way, but still, come on. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep those legs going. Leg day bitch. Bro, I love Rio. Rio's such a good map. We got the blue sky. The blue sky out. <laughs> Just gonna pretend okay there is a guy back here i thought i had a munitions box on i do not and i don't have scavenger on so you know mcw video but the, the only the first five kills are with the mcw okay okay oh whoa whoa we get ammo i don't even know how we got ammo not gonna question it i'm just gonna hope it happens again Let me know in the comments, what's your favorite map in the game right now? Honestly, I think I can just stay up here and just let them push me. I usually like to run around, but... Uh, you know, we got the AR, so it's not the best map to run around with. And bros, don't move. Okay, this is my first game on, so we're a little bit, you know, body with the movement. One is AFK. Look at that time to kill. Bros got a scoped bass B? How do you make that in the class sit up and be like, that's the motherfucking class. That's the class we're rocking today, boys. I got a scope of my gun. I got insane recoil. I don't understand. Yo, we're on a 15. Let's EMP them to take away everything that they've ever had. Make sure you always strafe with this class. The strafe on this thing is insane. Look at this. You're scared. They're all shooting each other because they don't know who's friendly and who's an enemy. Yo, we're on a 19 already. I ain't too shabby. Let's go. Oh, actually. Oh, that was a little spooky. Not going to lie. There we go. You can make this thing a little bit more aggressive if you take off the sight. Just keep the optic. I think this guy's AFK. No, you think he's AFK? Until you go to kill him, then he's not AFK anymore. That is spooky. Okay, let's do the, uh, the Vietzel. Just put some pressure on them. So it seems like they're all spawning over on A. I would run out there, but I'm just going to keep the power position I have. And just rotate back and forth through here. I really do want to take off the... Oh, is that an enemy? I really want to take off the optic. And then add a magazine. 
but it's just so satisfying with this like this this optic is so sick looking also i don't like it but i really like it at the same time you know what i haven't given you guys is like a max mobility mcw class maybe for the second mgb if i get this mgb i can give you guys a class with the with the aftermarket part that part is good it's not like that good like i prefer to run this thing without it and that's a nuke let's go boys yo leave a like for that easy motherfucking nukes second game on of the day we're chilling we're going crazy look at that and she said with the nodies on it's not by a stream stop by a stream if you're free and you like to watch me play rank play against the top one percent but against a lot of pros already I'm gonna be honest the pros kind of flip me inside out search and destruction no i can get kills on them it's just uh you know pros pretty good eh, not too shabby at the game they kind of know everything like you should be at the point like if you're playing ranked or just in general if you get a kill you should know exactly where he's going to be spawning and the timing and the route that he's probably going to well i guess not the route that he's going to take but you should know the vicinity of where he's spawning that guy's got a sword bro that thing is so sick it actually makes it so you can kill routes through this they'll be be behind a shield and you still can kill them which is so sick that's like the best melee they've ever added but also that'd be sick if we had like a a gun that could shoot through the shield that'd be the best secondary if it was like a pistol you know what we need we need a score streak that's like the annihilator the black ops 3 specialist but or no the uh it was in black ops cold war it's this one pistol it's like a hand cannon that was so sick and it actually counted towards your nuke same with the war machine that counted towards your nuke but that was just because the nuke wouldn't end the game it would just make it so you like basically blows up the map Bro, this thing is crazy the one thing i don't like about it is the bullet velocity i like how we have more damage range and things but you can really feel the lack of bullet velocity in there okay i might be able to get a couple more like uh, another like 15 20 gun streak the game is about to end pretty soon we're kind of flipping these dudes inside out i'm gonna go to another big map i kind of missed these i was playing a lot of dos Haas, so it's a nice little refresh i think my next mcw video i'll have more of like the smg build because this is a great like medium range one Oh my god. You guys should be able to make your own classes though, for the most part. Because I explain everything about the class. See how they always spawn back here? That's how I know. They're going to be over there, there. I'm going to drop shot the corner. Or they're going to be over here. So you can use this to kill them. Except for if I'm on that car, it kind of flips the spawns if my teammates are pushed up a lot. And then on this map, say you spawn in the top right corner of the map. That means the enemies are in this area. And that's what I mean about like knowing spawns is that like wherever you spawn, you should be able to tell where the enemies are going to be spawning based off where you spawn or where they're at in the map. Oh, bro, if I got that kill, that would have been so nice. But I think it's time to call in the MGB. Let's go, boys. Nice little simple and woman. I don't want to. I don't want to offend anyone, you know. Alexa, shut up. Sorry, she gets me mad. Too simple. Let's go. And that was an MG motherfucking B. Nice. GG's everyone. GG's was 57 and 4. Let's go. But you can't snipe me. You'll never be able to snipe. We're on departures. I love this map. Great spawn traps great feeds lots of peas there's peas on my knees i'm peeing on my knees oh gee i have no more i was trying to keep on going i i thought of three words p g and d and that's it got a very uh you know depth of mind over here okay we're gonna throw it on trophy oh fuck dude i need a uh, musician's box i didn't even learn my lesson there's always something wrong whenever I go to record. Like, I'll have score streaks on instead of kill streaks. I'll forget the munitions box. I'll forget the, the right, the class I'm using. Like, I'll accidentally not save the class. I'll go to edit one attachment. I'll accidentally click my Y button and it deletes the entire class. I'm like, God damn it. Trophy is super helpful, though. off 
Oh, he doesn't want to chow me. He's one of those guys. Oh, he wants to chow me, though. Oh, can you get off my dick? Why? I can't, I can't lay down. Oh, why is my, my shit do that? Like, there's times where I try to lay down, and it doesn't let me lay down. I don't know if it's because of, like, the tax slide stance thing. Maybe I'm clicking too many buttons. But it's annoying. Or, like, I'm laying down and I can't stand up. The tax, tax, I don't know why I said it like that. The tax stance, in my opinion, needs to go. I hate how my gun just turns sideways. Right there, since the sprint fire speed on the MCW isn't that good anymore. You gotta, like, pre-shoot it. Oh, I was like, why is he shooting at the EMP? Oh, he's the EMP. That shit's hilarious. They're definitely so mad right now. Just completely spawn trapping them over and over and over. We have so much ammo. I, maybe I do have a scavenger. Oh, I'm lagging. I was going to say, like, what the... Why, why is, like, things off on my game? Ever since the recent update, they, like, messed up all the servers and everything. Bro, let's go. We got the nuke, though. We got the nuke as we're lagging. Too nasty. Let me know if your game has been lagging, too. Ever since the recent update. Like, it feels like I'm playing on, like, input delay. Attack a burst 24-7. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Oh my god. Bro, I think they're all spawning over here. Bro, look at that strafe speed. No, they spawn to the left. Damn it, dude. Okay, so if you're ever in that situation, the enemies are probably spawning over there, not down over here. I just thought they were going to be telling top left because my teammates were on the ops on the opposite corner. And it usually goes like that. Yo, we're on a 43? Wait, the enemy's got a chopper gunner? Who the fuck got a chopper gunner? Teammates, how are we selling to these guys? Second place is six kills? Bro. Oh shit, he might shoot down my, my, my thing. I kind of want to drop an MGB right now. Just to cancel it out. Bro, never shot down my, my VTOL. That's crazy. How did you do that, Vlad? Are you the one that got the chopper gunner? They all should be over here. You know what, Vlad? Fuck you. I'm going to drop an MGB on you. Let's go. And I got to go drop an MGB after this. I need this shit to drop so I can go drop my own MGB IRL. I've been trying to gain a lot of weight. I've been drinking a lot of protein shakes. One a day, probably gonna up that to two. Working out, eating hella calories every day. Oh my god. We're becoming a big man. We're becoming a big man. I'm almost pregnant. I almost had to go get my pregnancy test. Huh? What happened, guys? What happened, Vlad? 
I think they shit in their pants and then hid under a car or something. I don't know about that one, but uh, you know, uh, yeah, I can kind of see what you're thinking.